He's had a tremendous amount of success on the golf course, but maybe his best work has been off the golf course. Nona, how you doing? I couldn't be better. I couldn't be better. I mean, aside, you know, you, most of the time you got to turn the newspaper upside down to get me on the top of the leaderboard, but uh, everything outside of you know golf is fantastic. It didn't start that way though. Oh, well, certainly. Ninety-nine, uh, uh, two thousand. Uh, you just hit the ground running out on the PGA Tour. What was that experience like? We'll talk about the next group of years after that, but coming out and winning, boom, 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 literally right out of the right out of the. Yeah, game. it was uh, four tournaments in uh, in about eleven months. My rookie year won twice and uh, didn't get rookie of the year, mind you. Uh, one of the first times I think uh, rookies won twice and <laughs> didn't get rookie of the year. Carlos Franco did. Fought my way back up, you know, all the way up to I think I was top 20 in the world and just just suffered an injury. But uh, looking back on it, wouldn't definitely would never never change a thing. I was able to start my foundation, get married, raise a family, and do some really great things outside of golf. Physically, you look great. Uh, how are you mentally when you when you tee it up on Thursday? There's there's still some you know weaknesses mentally when you have a history of, of poor performances. It's like anything else. Confidence breeds confidence, and in my case, uh, I haven't really had any good scores to kind of look back on and build any momentum. So I've really had to look more into the philosophical side of the game and and really try and justify why I'm out here, which is you know to present myself well, represent the game well, um, be endearing to the fans, and uh, appreciative for what I got. In 2010, at the Masters, you became a member of the media, working for the Golf Channel, terrific work. What was that experience like, watching the other guys and talking about it? Well, I learned, I learned a, a few things. I learned that I really want to play a lot more. Um, <laughs> That's good <laughs> I, news. I'm not, I'm not ready to get behind the desk. Uh, but I, I learned what a tough job it was to sort of try and be fair and objective and honest and give the viewer some entertainment and insight into our game. Did it inspire you, that whole process? Oh, certainly. Um, because I, didn't, I, I feel, still feel like my best years of golf are ahead of me because I've had so much experience. And this, this injury process has made me tougher mentally and emotionally. And those are two key things that you need to win tournaments out here is being mentally tough. And I know I've always had it, but I think I've gotten a little bit tougher in the last few years. You mentioned your foundation. Uh, what is your foundation and uh, who, who benefits from it? We focus uh, on childhood obesity and type 2 diabetes prevention in Native American communities. And we introduce soccer and golf into communities around the country and with, with an emphasis on uh, making them more aware of the health issues they're facing as young young kids and that they encourage them to make better choices both in the classroom and in their lives as far as their health's concerned. Finally, if Noda Begay wasn't a PGA Tour player, what would he be doing with his life these days? I'd probably be doing a lot more um, uh, of other business and, and primarily foundation work. I'd, lo I'd love to be coaching, coaching basketball, soccer, or golf. I love working with kids and, and getting them to realize their potential. One of the good guys. Notable yeah, guy. Thanks. thanks, brother. All right, man. Anytime.